All right, guys, we are here with Jason Dubin. Jason, welcome back to the Laid Back Bike Report. Hello. Always a pleasure. It's great to have you back. And Jason's going to talk to us today uh, about uh, an organization that he has recently founded, a uh, really interesting uh, project of his. And I'm going to let uh, Jason tell you all about NAVRA. So, Jason, go ahead and tell us what you're working on these days. Yeah. Uh, NAVRA is the North American Velmobile Racing Association. Um, as if you've been following any of my exploits, I'm like always in or around the things. And I was trying to figure out a way that I could propagate this to the general public. Um, of course, what we do is very unknown. Um, I've been riding in my own neighborhood for five years now, and people still are amazed like it's the first time they see me. And I was trying to think, how can we get more Velmobiles out there when people don't really know about them? Uh, how can you like actually generate money that way? So I decided, instead of trying to sell Velmobiles, I would just figure out a way that I could get them made where selling them wouldn't be an issue. And I decided the way to go with that is vocational training. Um, we're living in a culture now where hardly anybody knows how to build anything. And uh, I figured, and as I'm coming to learn, I can get grants to teach vocational skills. And making a Velmobile requires plenty of vocational skills. You're doing assembly, it's um, dealing with uh, CNC routers, so you're dealing with um, CAD files and three-dimensional stuff. Um, there's also uh, welding involved, uh, Teague welding, um, and uh, the electrical system that have to be um, installed in that. And these are all skills that are all ending up in China now. And we should be able to do this here as well, like we used to. So uh, that was uh, the, my basic premise in how to get this thing rolling. So uh, my next decision was to actually form the corporation. So I reformed NABRA as a uh, 501c3, a charity. Um, this way I can get grants and I can like, um, if people who do give money to me can, um, take it off on their taxes as it's a charitable contribution. So we started that to, you know, just a couple of months ago. Uh, the next decision was once I have these made, how do I get this out to the general public? And the plan is to, once I have 10 of them constructed, I'm going to be running a weekly tournament throughout uh, the borough of Brooklyn and possibly maybe some other boroughs, depending on how it looks. Um, say, like, every week on a Saturday or Sunday, I would be getting permits to operate out of many of the parks in the borough that are already well-built for bicycling. They have loops and figure eights. Um, also, I would be uh, getting permits to cut down, to set off a street for, say, a couple of hours where we could do drag racing. Um, I'm only planning to do drag racing and time trials. I am not, I am not going to do what they do in Australia, which is fabulous. I love it. But the last thing I want are collisions. As you know, I know all there is about collisions. But no, no collisions. And that's how the kind of races we're going to have. Uh, the next decision was what models to make. And I decided to use the aluminum models that we're all familiar with because they're already there. All the plans are there. It's already like put into routers. I didn't have to reinvent the wheel. So uh, the models we're going to start off with is the A2, the Alivator 2, the A4, and the A8. The Alivator was the first model to ever be manufactured on any sort of big scale as models. I think it started in the late 80s. Uh, they stopped manufacturing them in 2000, and then uh, Mr. Edgelson in Texas started making them. And I'm going to be purchasing his uh, data as well as the machines that he used. And I believe he has one or two models still left that I'll be transferring back to New York to start with. The other model will be the A4, um, which is a popular model, but I suspect mostly will be making the A8, which is the raciest one, and the one that more looks like a modern Velmobile. Uh, we may also make the A9, 
um, if I can get my hands on a printer big enough, because that one was um, designed to be made out of composite material. But they have a three-dimensional design of it. So potentially we can print the whole thing out. We're going to look into that. Depends on how much it costs. Um, in the long term, I eventually would want to make a model with a composite body. In fact, um, I'm making arrangements with a Velo Dreamer in the Ukraine to have him design one for me, which we could then make in the States. I do have uh, mechanical training. I went to Brooklyn Technical High School. And when I was at Yale, I studied um, sculpture um, and I learned how to do uh, welding, arc, and acetylene. Um, I'm not familiar with Teague, but I, I think I can learn it. Besides myself, uh, the three major people you should learn about is Miles McAfee. He's an academic. He um, teaches in uh, the city. Um, his father was a professional baseball player of the same name. He played for the Pittsburgh Pirates. And he was the uh, first black coach at uh, St. Mary's College in California. And they had a very successful um, career. And Mr. McPhee here will be the race master, who will be um, handling the rules, and who will be setting the venues. Uh, the other two people will note are uh, Michael Golub, who is a professor in Indiana who specializes in electric conversions. Um, he has made electric snowmobiles and electric cars, and he will be specifically involved with the electric motors. And we have to make them with electric motors because people... Uh, want to buy them with electric motors, though the racing may or may not be. Uh, we'll probably have electric races and non-electric races. Uh, the last person involved is uh, Angus McAfee, uh, who is an engineer uh, for the city on the Staten Island Ferry. Once this uh, first location is up and running, I hope to spread it to other cities. Uh, NAVRA should appear and could appear in any major city where there are um, bicycle activity. Uh, one place we're thinking of right off the bat is Indiana, as uh, Michael Golub is operating out of that city. We'll see how much interest there is. I would like teams to develop as well, which should compete against each other on a national level, which I think would bring interest up and also would attract uh, viewership. Um, NAVRA. I have a lot of I have a lot of hopes for this. I've lived a long life, and I've had doubts about other things I've done, but this is the one thing in my life that I'm convinced will be a success. I mean, feet up in the air. How wrong can you be? I was hanging out outside of work, uh, waiting for someone to show up who was like 50 minutes late. And if this person hadn't been late, this would have happened. Uh, so I'm sitting outside of work. The bell wheels right in front of me, and Chuck Schumer happens to walk by. He lives in the neighborhood where I work, and I see him regularly, and we've spoken on occasion. So I saw him the next day, and uh, I said, told him what I was up to, and I asked him if he could help me, and he said he could. He uh, gave me the name of one of his assistants, and uh, they directed me to a congressional funding program that Schumer has and the rest of the Congress has. And uh, I made the deadline by like five hours. All right, that sounds great. All right, Jason, let's uh, let's finish up with uh, telling the folks how they can find out more and how they can support you. Yes. How can they do that? Go to the website navra.us. There, uh, there's a description of what we're doing, a sample of the models, who we are, and ways that you can help us. Uh, there's a link right over the front for an easy $20. But if you want to be a member uh, for $100, you get the NAVRA t-shirt. If uh, you have more money to burn than you deserve or are just lucky, uh, you can pre-order a model. You can become a founding member for $10,000. You'll get a model of your choice when you start making them out, paint it as you want. Uh, you know, I'm not holding my breath on that. I'd be happy if you all just send me $20. It will all add up. Very good. Jason Dubin, once again on the Laidback Bike Report, we sure appreciate uh, what you're doing. We are excited about NAVRA and uh, wish you lots of success with it. And we'll keep our eyes on this project. Thank you very much.